Hey guys and welcome back to another tour on the Chaos Craft fan server and today guys we are going to be checking out this really awesome beach house that you can see right in front of me but guys before we get started with today's tour if you want to come and check out this build for yourself maybe even play creative survival mini games or come and check out the brand new roleplay and skyblock server the ip will be at the top of the screen and in the description but guys yes we are going to be checking out this really cool beach house that was built by mayo chips on the server and we are actually in a traditional town right here i'm not sure of the name of this town but we do not have a warp to this town just yet but you will be able to come and tp to this house and check it out but the main reason i wanted to tour this house because it is quite unique in my opinion like a lot of the houses around here are very unique like as you can see a lot of these houses have three stories at the back but when you look at it from the front they only have two stories they're really cool houses i like them a lot and this town here is looking really awesome i do like it i think luis and nick are the owners of this town and i think it's starting to come together really really nice but we're checking out this house first because i just think it's really nicely well put together and the layout of the house is absolutely awesome on the inside looks very realistic and it's got some really unique things to it so let's take a little fly around show you the details we're using this block i'm not even sure what this is this is possible polished diorite I did not know that but very nice layout to the house even the outside like I like this back deck I like the fact that you've got this like basement area then and you've got this balcony right here it looks absolutely awesome and then you've got there the window at the top there let's make it time uh day for me so I can see this a little bit better let's fly around this side so we can check out the detail on the side we've got these bushes growing around the sides which looks absolutely awesome and a path as well didn't even realize that the path takes you straight down to the beach to the ocean we've got a little sand castle here as well so let's go around to the front and check this out on foot and see how we actually get into the house so this is the front so a unique positioning for the house because most houses are on the road and you've got your entrances on the road like this house right here but this house the entrance isn't actually on the road you have to walk down this path down here and this takes us all the way around to the side and this is actually where the entrance of the house is so the entrance is actually on the side of the house very unique indeed i do like that though it makes it look a lot different and stuff like that uh, it's a unique design to have we can also go down here we'll check that out a little bit later so we have a nice little car design built by mayo there at the front of the house looking very cool indeed so we're going to go in here and this is the first oh there's no front door i just realized that there is no front door this house is open to anyone so we're going to walk in here guys and this is the main entrance so one thing i really like about this house is the layout i think the layout is very realistic and i just really really like it very open plan but then when you go upstairs it looks really realistic as like a real house should kind of thing so first off we have this little seating area right here i love the windows around like that makes it look absolutely awesome if you have a beach house this is what you want you want the view from the from the for the beach and to let all that natural light in and you just sit down you chill in the morning have your breakfast or chill at night or something like that i really really like this bay window area right here it looks absolutely awesome with uh the lighting up top as well so continue going on through here have a little fish tank on a little table and some bookshelves as well if we go through here oh this is the laundry room very cool touch right here is this like a are they meant to be washing machines? I'm not quite sure. We've got some towels and some folded up clothes on there as well. We've got a nice shelf, some more laundry over here. We have a toilet and I think that's a sink with a towel there too. And I can't tell what this room is. Oh, this looks like the generator. Okay, cool generator room where you uh, control everything in the house. So if we continue on going through this area and it's a very nice open plan room indeed. Lots of big windows in this house, letting in a lot of natural light from all areas. It looks absolutely awesome. And I personally really like open plan living spaces. I think they look really awesome when you put it all together like this, where you've got the kitchen, the living room and the dining area. It just adds a different feel rather than having all of the rooms sectioned off. I really like this. Personally, Personally. so if we go down on the floor right here we have the i think this is like a 
this might be like a dog bed or a cat bed I think right there then we have the main seating area right here very nice design for a seating area We've got a big corner couch right there right in front of this area right here where you can go right out to the balcony I can imagine this would be a very very cool design to have in your own houses if you had a house like this letting in all, all that natural breeze from the ocean it look absolutely awesome and be really cool thing to have in the house so you can come out here you can chill the ocean's right down there you get awesome some views got a little table here as well so you can sit outside eat your dinner or your breakfast and stuff like that and got really nice views there as well nice chandelier up here too very unique design there where he's got the glow stone, I think that's glow stone, or sea lanterns, sea lanterns in the roof itself, then you've got glass all the way around it, I really like that design for a chandelier, so if we pop over here, we have the dining room, I like the fact the dining table is surrounded by all these windows, kind of similar to this area over here, where we had the seating area, just lets in a lot of light to that area, and we have a very cool and unique lighting feature at the top, using end rods, and it's kind of like, really cool hanging light it looks really really nice and we go around here we've got a nice dining table design uh with some seats very cool seats with the trap doors right here and just your very basic uh dining table design but one thing that really makes it look nice is the fact that it has all these windows around letting in all the light around the dining table now when i checked this house out earlier there was a parrot standing on this fence but the parrot I think it's flown away. It's no longer here. And it's probably because they left all the doors open. <laughs> the parrot's gone. It's free. It's free in the world. There is no more parrot. So we have to continue on over to the kitchen. Now, this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house because I just like the little features. I like the stools. Look at these little stools you have right here. Very, very cool using custom heads and armor stands. But the bottom of the armor stands actually look like the stools to the kitchen counters. So that looks really, really cool using birch for the kitchen counter and using doors as cupboards. That that's a really cool little touch right there using doors so you can actually open the kitchen cupboards we've got this nice hanging light right here to add some light to the kitchen and the main kitchen area here we have a nice big fridge we've got our kitchen utensils hanging up on the wall there we've got a nice cupboards going all the way around using the door technique we have a lower half of the door up here as well which looks really cool too and we have our uh, I forgot what this was called then a kitchen sink we have a kitchen sink and we have the cooker over here as well cool little touch with the dog bowls over here we've got dog uh, water and dog food right there cool little touch I like that you nice use of custom heads right there nice view of the kitchen I just really like the open plan feel of this whole house I think it looks really really cool so if we go down here now guys this is just a nice little seating or, or like a reading area in the corner I really like the lamp think that fits in very well nice big windows around here I like the two tones of the windows where you're using two different types of stained glass we've got the light gray and we've got the white stained glass I like that I think that looks awesome adds a nice distinct touch to the windows and we got a nice bookshelf to complement the reading area and where you can just sit down and read this living room has everything you know you've got your reading area you've got your lounge area you've got your dining room and you've got your little kind of like I this like I don't know I would call this like a breakfast area where you would kind of sit in the morning have your cereal look outside and we've got the kitchen area as well very nice open plan design down here now we're going to head off upstairs and see what the upstairs has to offer very nice balcony area up here very big space to work with but I do like it got a nice little cabinet right here maybe like where you just store some stuff using door technique as well for the cupboards hanging lights on there and some more bookshelves around here so by the looks of things we have three rooms to go into so first off we're going to go over to the left over here and we have the bathroom very grand bathroom design right here we have the toilet over here with the toilet paper on the side nice huge big shower right there with the shower showers hanging from the roof got a nice shower head in our shower this is part of our texture pack with the new brewing stands if you go underneath it looks like a shower head which looks absolutely awesome and we have our sink there as well with a mirror on the roof with a nice hanging light too very nice bathroom design I like the roof I like the fact you can see the shape of the roof from the inside I always like rooms like that even in real life when you can see the roof shape in the room I just think it looks absolutely 
awesome when you can see that in a house so let's move on to the next room we're going to go into this room here and this looks like the master bedroom now first thing that i notice in this room is the big window and you can see this nice view of the beach i would love to have a room like this where you can just lay down and chill and look out the window whenever you want to look at that amazing view and we've got a nice bed design right here we've got some snow mixed with some normal beds which looks really really cool and some bedside tables and some shelving area around with a um, nice little countertop right there so very simple bedroom design right here but very nice made nice by all the windows letting in all that natural light and you've got that really cool view that you can look out of so we're going to continue on going through here and this looks like a kid's bedroom very cool bunk bed design right here I like that using beds and using world it looks a bit glitched out yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's meant to be a bed right there. You can see it's like invisible, but I think it's a little bit glitched out, but very cool design for a bump bed. I do like that. We've got this, what is this? I think this might just be like a little closet area or storage. And then we've got our double corner desk right here where two brothers, two sisters, a brother and sister can use their desks over here and in this corner. So very nice design for a kid's bedroom right there. So we're gonna head on back downstairs right now and we're gonna go check out that little area that we saw outside. So if we go back out around the front, we head down these stairs right here then we go down here this is the basement area and this is kind of like a little playroom or well, not a playroom kind of like a man's den or man cave what you whatever you call it we've got like a bar area right here very nice bar design i do like this you know what i like about this room it's very appropriate for where this house is situated this is a beach house so at beach houses what do you kind of think of i think of parties and stuff like that and barbecues and all kind of cool things like that and so the, having that room down at the bottom right there is very appropriate for this house where you can have the have your little kind of deck party beach party out here having a barbecue you can go inside get yourself a drink for the from the bar you can chill out and hang out around this little seating area right here and you have a pool table as well if you want to come inside and play some pool in the basement very very nice area to include in this house and we've got this nice deck area even when you look up and you look at the three floors of the house this deck area is really really cool and if you continue on walking down here it takes you to the beach so you can chill out do whatever you want throw some parties and hang out around the beach a very very nice house very unique house never toured a house like this before and i think mayo has done an absolute awesome job with this house but guys if you want to come and check this build out for yourself all you need to do is when you get on the server is do slash tours and then find beach house on this little menu right here and you'll be able to come and check out this house for yourself but guys make sure you put down in the comment section down below and tell mayo what you think of this house but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you again in another server tour.